All right, today's lesson is on transformations in terms of parallel and perpendicular lines, line segments and circles. Take note of the reflection of a rectangle. Now, from the definition of a rectangle, we know that opposite sides are parallel. And we know that all four angles are 90 degrees, which means when they intersect, they're, they're perpendicular because the sides, the length and width, form a right angle. And if you reflect it, you're going to get the flip of that image, but the angles are going to be the same. It'll still be a right angle. And the uh, the lengths of the sides are going to stay the same. They'll still be parallel to each other as well. So it doesn't change anything about the properties of parallel or the properties of perpendicular lines. Take note of the rotation of the rectangle. Again, a rectangle, we know that opposite sides are parallel. as well as congruent and the angles are 90 degrees when you spin it around around a certain point let's say we spin from this point we turn it around and have it flip up the angles are still going to be 90 degrees and it doesn't change the property of the parallel lines. This will still be parallel. And if you look at the translation, all it's doing is moving the figure from one location to the next. So again, it's still going to preserve the properties of a rectangle. Opposite sides are still going to be congruent as well as parallel and the angles are going to be the same alright now let's look at the circle take note of the reflection of a circle where a circle has no edges you know, we do have a what you call a center in a radius, but that's not going to change. So it's going to be identical if you reflect a circle. Take note of the rotation of a circle. Again, a circle has no edges, no angles. So the rotation is going to look the same. It's like spinning the ball around. So you still have a center. I mean, the radius could move around, but it's still going to be it's a equal distance from the center, so that's not going to change. All right, and take note of the translation of a circle. Again, that's moving the image from one location to the next. And again, it doesn't change the circle, it just moves it from one spot to the next. After all three transformations, the shape of the rectangle and circle still have the same size, angles, and lengths as the original images. If one shape can become another using flips, which is the uh, reflection, or turns, that's another word for rotation, or slides, that's another word for translation, then the two shapes are congruent. For example, if I had something like this. And you want to know if this is the same. If you uh, flip it over and it matches then you know it's congruent. 
All right, this concludes our lesson for today.